Hey people, happy Canada Day. Mike Martins here with the Mike Martins channel. Guys, I got a very important video you need to watch to the end. I don't care where you are, if you speak English or you're an English speaking country, please watch this video because something's happening big down under and um, Aust especially Australians, watch to the end so you can see the future of how you will be taxed to death like we are here in Crown Land, Canada. So let's take a look at what's happening. So I'm referring to the video I did a few days. Well, we made tons of tax videos here on the channel. So I'm on the channel time machine here and I'm talking about, so when I say two stoplights, I'm paying property tax basically for two, two stoplights in my town. We have no infrastructure. That's our infrastructure there in my background. You can watch that video. So what is going on? Well, stamp duty, this is very important. Don't click off. It, it sounds boring, but it's not. Stamp duty is when you buy a house in Australia, you pay your taxes on it one time. You pretty much pay the taxes. If I'm wrong, comment below. If it's something's changed, I don't know. I'm not in Australia, but we've been following Australia for over 10 years now. Uh, which state and territory do you live in? How much is your house you're buying? And then it goes down uh, how you could pay and how much time you have to pay your, basically your one-time property tax when you buy the house. And what is stamp duty? Uh, when do I have to pay my stamp duty? The issues with stamp duty, uh, the cost of stamp duty. So it goes into very in-depth, you know, it's from the government type of thing, right? So they kind of want to help you and they give you a calculation cost if you could afford your stamp duty. There's your property value, which you would pay for stamp duty on the property values and whatnot. And basically you pay it and then you kind of move on with your life type of thing. And I kind of wish we had that in Canada when I bought my house because then now I wouldn't be paying what I'm paying now for property tax for two stoplights. Oh, yeah that smart guy in the comments said, but you get garbage pickup. That's $1,200 separate per year. <gasps> Woo! So anyways, so the stamp duty, now what's happening? Okay, this seems like a great idea. This really helps out the consumer. They budget within reason. If the house goes up, that's great. They, their investment goes up. But my housing is crazy in Australia. But anyways, what are they doing? Well, this is from the other day right here. Boom, 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 boom. Australia, the Guardian. What is stamp duty and why is New South Wales getting rid of it and what will replace it? So there it is. There is stamp duty. Stamp duty is a tax charged by the state on the territory governments on a property purchase paid at the time of purchase. The rates will vary depending on the location and the value of the property. But, but currently in New South Wales for a home priced between $313,000 and $1 million, the rate is $9,390 plus $450 for every $100 over $330,000. So far, uh, so far, example, the stamp duty on $750,000 home would be $29,055. It usually uh, capitalized on your mortgage. Okay, so there it is. Why are they getting rid of it? The New South Wales government announced part of this year's budget, the blah, blah, blah plan, will remove stamp duty. But with the Premier Dominic Putri, it said that one of the largest upfront costs of buying a home instead to uh, and replace it with an annual property tax. Woo! So what does this mean? You're going to be paying more in taxes because they want an annual property tax. Okay, in America, you could defer your property taxes. I talked to several people. They're like, they, 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 they watched my... My $4,500 property tax stint. They're like, Mike, what the hell's wrong with you? Just defer your property tax. Are you out of your mind? What's wrong? With we can't do that in Canada because they're going to pay for the two stoplights. And the 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 pay increase for the for the people live, sitting on in parliament, not parliament, sorry. Uh, uh, the, the mayors and the city councilors all got a raise like 40% uh, recently. So... Yeah, so that's gonna gotta pay for the two stoplights. All right, so there it is. So they want to do it with a monthly. Woo! So here we go. So, so here's our ta taxing property thing videos, and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you if you're in Australia, you're gonna want to watch. Keep watching this. Tax to enter the city. Toronto uh, tax to death, turning into a, a city, turning into an empty shell. Rents go up. Uh, trends in the housing market, tax to death, mass accidents of young families, inflation, stir crazy. Uh, taxing us to death, Canada Post is charging me $300 for a mailbox. Taxing the equity in your home, that's coming soon. They're going to be taxing every year the equity you make in your home. And it's just going to keep going and going and going. Two stoplights right there, two stoplights. I got the grant though, so I paid $3,500. If I didn't get the grant. So there it is. And watch this. This is what 
Canadians, uh, Canadian provinces pay by, by province and taxes. So this is coming to Australia. So when they get rid of that stamp duty that you pay once up front, look what you're going to have to pay. Look, look what they're paying here per year. So if you live in Toronto, in Ontario, this is if your house is over a million, which is almost every house. There it is right there. That's what they're paying per year in property. Whoa! In property tax. Sorry, I just can't, I can't, I can't uh, have to kind of control my, uh, in, in, in British Columbia, uh, most houses, look, my house is not even a million dollars and I'm paying like this much for it. So there it is right there. So if it's, if it's a uh, value of 500, a uh, 500 large, you're paying that much. That's still a lot of money to pay per year, especially retired and people, you know, so there it is. There it is. Let me see if there's a new Brunswick there. Look at St. John's if your property is over a million dollars. $17,850 a year in property tax. Everyone's saying, I'm moving to St. John's. But mind you, the people are paying this much for their homes, two fifty. dollars So they're paying what I'm paying here in marriage for property tax. So this is coming to Australia, people, because they're going to have to remove the stamp duty to support the middle class. So your property looks cheaper when you buy it up front. But then you're paying the taxes in the rear, in the rearview mirror, forever and ever. Yeah. So right now, what I'm paying is like three, four hundred a month just for my property tax now. In a town with two stoplights. Two. So, anyways, uh, no, no infrastructure is what I'm trying to say. So, and but oh, Mike, but they pick up your garbage. That's twelve hundred bucks on the side. Anyways, guys. Australia is headed down. They're going to be, again, they're going to find ways. They put laws in place years ago saying let the people pay the tax up front and they're free to go and live in their property for the rest of their lives and be free. But now when you buy in Australia, going forward, they're going to just remove that stamp duty, which was there for the people. I wonder if you could defer the stamp duty like in America, where people pay property taxes, they could defer their property tax. I'm just wondering if you could do that in Australia. I'm not sure. So if anyone knows that, comment below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. They're going to tax us to death. They're going to tax us. So if you own, you're going to get taxed to death. If you rent, your rent's going to go up. If everything is, they're coming for us and they're going to do it through taxation. And the big box stores, like I said, they're going to federalize every big box store because they're going to tax them to death. They're going to tax everything. Then they're going to start taxing Amazon. Amazon Amazon does so well because they don't pay taxes in, in a lot of... That's why they got kicked out of France and other countries. But the government's going to boost Amazon. Today, uh, on eBay, I'm selling things on eBay. Now, the government's collecting on my behalf. Uh, eBay's collecting GST and PST on my behalf to forward to the federal government of Canada. Yes. So the government can send more money abroad for... I'm not going to say it here. We'll, we'll talk about it on Mike of the Nights. Thanks for watching, guys. Share this video. Please get this out there because it's kind of important because now Australians think they're having this good thing where they're going to pay their property taxes monthly or yearly or whatever, whatever they can afford because we want those taxes. Yeah. Anyways, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. But you're probably going to say, but Mike, what's going to maintain the infrastructure if people don't pay property taxes yearly? Australia has been functioning for many years and they have lots of infrastructure. Lots. And they've built that. They've built tons of cities in Australia. So, yeah, go check it out and see for yourself the infrastructure and people not paying property taxes yearly to maintain it. There's always a way around it, but there's always a way around helping the middle class people. But for some reason, they don't want to do that. I'm going to stop talking now. Happy Canada Day if you're in Canada. And Mike Martin's here. I have spoken.